we, the leaders from the arid and semi-arid um, areas, appreciating that unity of purpose remains fundamental to the future hopes and aspiration of the communities in the region. Mindful of the likelihood that the socio-economic emancipation of ASAL areas will remain a mirage unless, unless leaders from the region speak with one voice. Noting with great concern that despite ASAL areas constituting a vast land mass, a vast last, uh, land mass with a multi-ethnic, multi-religious, and culturally diverse population, it has suffered from political and social economic marginalization over the years, only be re being regarded as a swing vote. Convinced that changing the tide of marginalization under which ASAL areas have labored for decades requires establishing a strong political movement that can galvanize the numbers, negotiate with like-minded regional political heads, and bargain for inclusion of the ASAL areas agenda at the national level. Noting that since independence in 1963, development has been a key issue for the region and that before the new constitutional dispensation in 2010, this, this had been pursued through initiative, initiatives such as national government's local authority trust funds, as well as successive ministerial, ministerial appropriations. Further noting that the onset of devolution changed the narrative and has resulted in over 400 billion in resources being allocated in the last nine years to the region through the respective county governments. Appreciating that while devolution should have been a game changer, development changes still persist across the entire ASAL region. And while they are unique and different from the rest of Kenya, the region still lags behind in infrastructure such as rural roads, water resources, and healthcare facilities among others. Taking into consideration that much more still remains to be done in order to alleviate the effect of decades of systematic marginalization, and that this remains the priority of the region's national and county leaders. Having considered that despite the challenges in ASAL, areas being common to some parts of Kenya, their challenges remain unique in terms of need and scope. As this region with the lowest coverage of tarmac roads and uptake of electricity connectivity and national grid coverage, and is also beset by insecurity, especially in, the, in their borders. Having further considered that the region is in dire need of increased investment in livestock production, and marketing coupled with affirmative action of the youth and women in terms of access to education, employment, and business opportunities. Deeply convinced that effectively dealing with these challenges will take much more than just devolve funds through county governments, but will also require a national blueprint with meaningful input from the region's leadership. We resolve and affirm that the leaders of arid and semi-arid lands recognize the needs to speak the need to speak with one political voice on behalf of their respective electorates horizon tv the beacon for the nation